everyone. It's definitely uh, Victoria's Artworks. This is a simple paint pour. What I'm about to show you is what they would call a dirty paint pour. And all that is, is you would make sure your canvas is propped up. I have cups. Because when you do the paint pours, all of the paint is going to start falling down to the sides. And if you want to be able to pick it up to get the paint moving, things like this, you want to be able to do so very easily. It gets messy, so some people want to wear gloves. And also, as it dries, because of the extra paint that drips down, um, make sure that you have something underneath of your canvas. I'm using a wood board here. And um, that way you won't get your table messed up, things like that. But also, it's another reason why you want those cups is because when it drips down and it dries, it will tend to stick to whatever surface you are painting on. So, make sure the cups are nice and stacked neatly in such a way that each corner is covered so it doesn't fall in the process. Okay, so a basic paint pour. I have a cup and I mixed in all my colors. And since the holidays are coming up, I wanted to do some holiday colors. So I have reds and greens and, and that sort of thing. All I did was I mixed my, my paint up ahead of time and then I poured each one in and it doesn't matter how you pour them in, you know, it just, you're just gonna end up flipping the cup and they're gonna mix together. So this is a simple paint pour you could drip them all throughout the canvas like this or you could just totally take it the canvas flip it on top of the cup and then flip the whole thing over you could do it that way too so to make things simple i'm going to do that method for you today so i have the paint sitting right there and i'm just going to simply lift and watch it do its magic and you can just let it seep out however you want. Usually I would cover the board with some white paint ahead of time. But if you have enough paint already mixed up, you don't really have to do that. And so you just make sure that all of it is covered nicely. It will go down the sides and that way you'll have a nice painting because you can either choose to frame it or leave it as long as the sides are covered and as you can see I did tape off with painters tape here so that when this one's done it will look like it already has a border and this one I did add gold but you're not really seeing a whole lot of this the gold in this one. I might go back and add some of that at some point. But the purpose of this right now is just so that you can get an idea of how paint pours work if you're a beginner at that. And making sure that all of it is covered. Now what I have is just a lot of reds and whites that showed up, some blue on the corners, but I think what I'm going to do is add some um, gold and maybe something like blue. Maybe even a good little bit of a white right around the edges. That way it doesn't look like it's mostly just all one color. I like that. 
I'm going to put a little bit of blue right there. Maybe some more gold right around there. There we go. There we go. You can see it a little better. Just this so you can see the whole thing. That's the whole point of the paint board. You never know what you're going to get at the end of it. Some turn out great and some, uh, you know, you have to think about that one for a little while. But they're a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed that basic tutorial on paint pouring. Thanks for watching. Check me out at victoriousartworks.com. Victorious.